Hey, what's up guys? It's N Squared Sports coming back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about NBA and my early season thoughts. We're about four, four or five games in for every team when this is going to be posted. So I'm just going to go through my first two week, um, you know, just, just thoughts about the NBA, what's been going on. Um, I'm going to talk about a couple, couple teams in each video. I'll probably have two or three of these videos. So uh, keep watching for that. So I'm going to start, I'm going to talk about the Golden State Warriors and the Atlanta Hawks in this video. So starting with the Golden State Warriors, uh, they are not making the playoffs anymore. So if y'all don't know what's going on in the NBA, you're like, wait, didn't they just go to five straight finals? Uh, yes, they did. They did go to five straight finals. They will not be going to a sixth. So KD, Kevin Durant, is now in Brooklyn. He got... Um, he signed there in free agency um, this offseason. Clay Thompson tore his ACL uh, in the finals last year. So he is out probably for the year at this point. They lost Marcus Cousins. They lost Andre Iguodala. They lost Sean Livingston. They lost Quinn Cook. So basically their bench they lost. So And they lost two of their starters as well. They lost Clay for the year probably. And KD is in Brooklyn. So that being said... You probably think now, oh, they're not making the playoffs now, but it gets worse. Steph Curry, last night, or maybe two nights ago when I post this, not really sure. I'm probably going to post this on Friday. So, um, he, it happened Wednesday night. But Steph Curry has a broken hand. If you want to see the video, it's, it's they're playing the Phoenix Suns. So, look up Steph Curry, Phoenix Suns, or you can really probably look up Steph Curry and you can find a video on it. Um... It's not the best thing to watch. It uh, it doesn't show too much, but you know it's still not fun to watch injuries happen. So yeah, Steph Curry broke his hand. They did some CT scans and some different tests on it today. They still have not come out with a final like timetable for his return. They still don't know when he's going to come back. Um, they just know it is a broken hand. Uh, he posted a picture on Instagram with his cast on his hand. So he will be out, I am going to guess he's out until the All-Star break, which is in late February. So I'm going to guess he'll be out until probably the All-Star break, that's around three months before he actually starts playing again. Now, I think he might be recovered in two months, maybe by end of January, but he probably won't come back until after the All-Star break. That would be smart to just not rush him back. Um, and I could, I could even see it be worse where he would be out for the rest of the season broken hand probably takes about two months i would say to fully recover if depending on how bad it is of course but i don't think by the way it looked it didn't look super super bad so i don't think it's gonna be a five or six month injury but i do think he'll probably be out at least two months probably three i would rest him for the season and i'm gonna tell you why um i think d'angelo russell could have a great year just playing by himself because without Steph, without KD, without Clay, um, you lost Boogie, you lost Andre Iguodala, you lost Sean Livingston and Quinn Cook. So you lost a lot of players. That's like six players I just mentioned right there. Um, I would feature D'Angelo Russell. Uh, Draymond Green will still play. He'll be good on defense. He'll help you defensively. <clears throat> by the way, their defense is awful. Like it's bad bad they have been down in their three losses they've been down by 30 points in each of those losses so their defense is bad so Draymond needs to be there I will say I think their rookies could play well I think they have talent so I think it would be smart to just you know keep Steph out just let the young guys kind of run the show get a lottery pick they'll probably have a top 10 pick this year Maybe top five. I doubt it would get that low, but I think top ten is reasonable. Um, and I would see how well D'Angelo Russell can play. Because if he can play really, really well, and you get to the All-Star break, and you put a package with him, and you maybe even trade away your first-round pick, because it's going to be a good pick. What if it is if it's a top ten pick, say D'Lo, and a first-round pick for... You know somebody good just with D'Angelo Russell you can get some value back if he plays well but if you even for, throw in that first round pick see if you can get a superstar back and then when next year you have the rookies that are developing 
you have that piece that you got back or multiple pieces and then you get a healthy staff he healthy clay uh draymond will still be there and your team's back together it might not be the same but you can still make a run at another championship if if you're the warriors that's what i would be thinking right now well, let's get our young guys involved let's see how well d'angelo can play so we can either keep him i would i would say trade him though for sure first let's move on to the atlanta hawks so the hawks i just want to say uh i predicted them to be a four seed in the east um, and my prediction is looking right so far, to be honest. I think they looked really promising so far this year. Uh, they played a couple games there in the middle of one as I'm recording this right now. Um, I'm, I'm recording this on a Thursday. This will probably, like I said, go out on Friday. Um, but yeah, they look really good. Trey Young got injured in their last game a couple nights ago. Uh, it's a sprained ankle. He act the way he acted was it was that it was like a broken ankle. The way he just the way he reacted to it, his interview was so innocent. Like he's like, oh yeah, this is the first injury I've ever had. So it, it's the first injury he's ever had. He doesn't really know what the pain is like. Um, the way he reacted to it, I thought it was serious and really bad. But um, now it's like, oh, he might return in two or three days, or might go. Uh, the most it could go would be two weeks, I would think. Um, but I think in a week he'll be back and he'll be playing. So, not serious on that end. He's balling out, by the way, like averaging 36, 37 points a game with like nine assists. So, he he's looking really good. And you know who else is looking good? John Collins. John Collins, to me right now, he's my most improved player. Just put him on watch. I think the way he looked in the first couple games, he's been tremendous. He's shooting the three ball really well. He is defending blocking shots. And I think he just, he if he takes a step up that I think he's capable of him, he can be one of the best forwards in the NBA by the end of this year. He can be up there, not with Giannis probably, but just below Giannis. I think he can be right there, kind of with the Porzingis of the world and different people like that. Um, so watch him for uh, most improved player. I think it's possible, and I think this Hawks team really could make a push to get a top four seed. Now it's still very doubtful, just with all the other talent and the how young this team is. But I think they have some nice pieces, some veteran pieces that could possibly uh, get them to where they need to go, and I think that can be a top four seed still. So that is it for this video. Uh, I'm going to keep making some videos tonight, so uh, keep looking for them throughout the weekend. Um, they will definitely be up this weekend and possibly early next week, and I will see you guys next time.